the question that interests me is what these two intend to do next. What are you on about? Oh, it's quite simple, Ricky. I'd like to know where you intend living, what you intend living on, and how you intend supporting Sam while she stays on at school. Well, we haven't quite worked everything out yet. Oh, well, let's take it one by one, shall we? First, where will you live? Well, um... What will you live on? Like I said, I... And what about Sam's schooling? Or is she planning to jack that in and start behind the perfume counter at Boots? But, Mum, none of that's important. So what is important? Me and Ricky being together. Well, like Mum says, you're together. Congratulations. Now what, eh? As I thought, you don't know. So I'm going to tell you. First, Sam's coming home with me. You what? I'll let you see Ricky, but I'll not let you live with him. Not let me live with him? Mum, we're married. And that's the next thing. Are you? Properly, I mean. What are you talking about? Well, we've got the certificate, haven't we? Has the marriage been consummated? What, what's, oh, what's is that too big a word for you, Ricky? Do I have to spell it out? Well... Well, let's hope not anyway, because it'll make it easier to get this marriage annulled. To do what? Oi. You finished? For now. Good. Because now it's my turn. First and foremost, I should like to welcome Samantha to my family. You'd like to do she what? She is now a butcher. And as such, her and Ricky are welcome to stay here at the B&B &B until they get themselves sorted out. And as Ricky is most likely out of a job now, I'll find him some work instead. Quite right, Frank. Secondly, there will be no, I repeat, no attempt to annul this marriage. As a matter of fact, we're going to celebrate it. He's gone up his trolley. And properly too. Now that we're back, we'll organise a proper reception. With a church blessing, bunches of flowers and a large roller. And as this expense will be down to me, you can all consider yourself duly invited. Well, that Scott says turned his brain. Far from it, Grant. As a matter of fact, it was only thinking when I was up in Scotland. What a shame it was that Samantha's mother couldn't be there to see the ceremony. Frank. Well... Now she can. Just a minute. Are you trying to tell me you were there? What? At the wedding, you were actually there? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. As a matter of fact, I was. And you didn't do anything about it? Excuse me. Now, I'm telling you, Ricky and Samantha are now married and they're going to stay married. And no fancy briefs can undo that either. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah it is. And you got me wrong, Mrs Mitchell, because I can sort things out for me and Sam, and I will sort things out for me and Sam. Come and... here. Frank, these lot just pushed their way past me. What's going on? What's going oh, on? Oh, oh, oh. Barney Green, journalist, just come round to do a piece on the newlyweds. Dad. But don't let us interrupt anything. Excuse me, Daddy. What's the matter with you? You can call me Barney if I you like. I may call you many things, Winkle, but what I want to know now is the name of the idiot that sent you round her in the first place. Dad. I'll tell you what, I could swing for those neighbours of ours sometimes, but I already could. Dad, I asked him round. You what? Ricky, he called me earlier on. Asked me to come round and do a piece on him and the blushing bride. Sort of proves my point, wouldn't you say, Mr Butcher? Your son is a dipstick. And I don't want my daughter married to a dipstick. And she won't be, not for much longer anyway, whatever you say. I can promise you that. Yeah, Ricky, there's a memento. It's no good to us anymore. What is it? It's the certificate we had our brief to stop the wedding. Says you're subnormal. Yeah, call it a wedding present, eh? 